everyone. I am very happy and excited to be here to present you Assassin's Creed 2. The original vision of the Assassin's Creed universe needed a sequel, and here it is. The general direction I gave to the team for AC2 was quite simple. Diversity. Give players more options in all aspects of the game. This demo will give you a glimpse of what to expect. Sebastien? AC2 starts right where AC1 ended, with Desmond Miles using the Animus machine to relieve an ancestor's life. But this time, he will experience a different time period, the Italian Renaissance. Ezio, Leonardo says that the machine is ready. It's at the top of the tower. It's you! Meet Desmond's new ancestor, Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. The Italian Renaissance gave us the perfect setting to exploit what was so great in AC1. Believable crowds, dangerous times, and beautiful open cities. All that during a pivotal moment in history. The birth of the modern world. Ezio's story is about a young Florentine noble on a quest for vengeance. It's about someone who had to deal with a great loss. To help character progression, We've construct, co constructed our game, sorry, around someone who isn't an assassin at first. But who will learn to become one with the help of some friends. Leonardo da Vinci is one of those friends. Ezio will use him as his own personal inventor. Leonardo will make him weapon upgrades, gadgets, and machine, like we have here, his famous flying machine. The flying machine is a good example of the diversity of experience found in AC2. The fire that you see around Venice gives speed and altitude to the glider. And Ezio can even take some enemies down his path. The target Ezio is after is hidden inside the Palazzo Ducal that you see right here. And to, the only way to get to him is from the sky. also on giving more assassination techniques to Ezio, making him even deadlier than his crusade's counterpart, Altair. Good use of the double hidden blade here, Sebastian. Here we have an example of our new AI archetype, the Seeker. Hiding spots are not so safe anymore. There he is! Portatemi la sua testa! We wanted Ezio to be an assassin before being a warrior, which is why he is so good with his bare hands. He lets them disarm his enemies and use their weapons against them. There will be over 30 different weapons in the final game, not to mention the six additional unique weapons you will be able to unlock if you play Assassin's Creed Bloodlines on the PSP and connect it to your PS3. It's your target, Carlo Grimaldi. You really are the devil. Wait, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I'll give you anything you want. Name your... Make this sacrifice for the greater good. Requiescat in pace. Get away this time. 
So you're surrounded. Let's use a, a smoke bomb. Just another example of the diversity of tools you will have at your disposal. Thank you, thank you. So this was the AC2 E3 demo. I hope you enjoyed it. But I must inform you, the game is massive in scope. This is just a short sample. You'll have the opportunity to experience it at its fullest really soon. Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Bloodline on the PSP will be on the store shelf this holiday. Thank you, and have a great E3. <laughs>